Hello, everybody. We're back. Um, long story short, the game crashed and took my internet down for about 10 seconds. So we're back. Um, let me just check streams on my side to make sure everything's okay. Oh, boy. Um, you guys need my friend code, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Will, you're in charge of chat. Yes, Zach says L O L O L. Then he said where stream go, and then he said and we're back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I see we're back now. Okay. Um, let me get to my my friend code. Oh damn! Damn! It killed yeah, Steam. A... That okay? Just to be clear, the game froze. Discord disconnected me from voice. OBS froze hard enough to kill the stream. My internet went down and Steam crashed. All nice. because of the game. <laughs> That's one of the most intense I've ever seen. That's so why you got to be playing the Windows 10 version. Oh boy, but then I have to download it, which is going to take me, what, three I will days? Because I will say that on... on... Oh, it took me about Sorry. 15 minutes. No, I mean, because the Windows Store likes to uh, randomly stop my downloads, which is a very known issue uh, that they've never fixed. Uh, sorry, Jake, what were you saying? No, I, I was going to say that since 1.0, like after, after they launched, I think, the Foundation update, at least on PS4, I've not experienced a crash since um, all the stuff that happened at launch. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, I remember crashing at launch so much. Uh, that's a good, that's a good segue into Jake. How about you tell us about your, um, your experiences with No Man's Sky? So I think I've probably put, <laughs> awful. um, I've probably put a couple hundred hours in since, uh, 2016. Wow. Um, I was, you'll get to see that I'm flying the pre-order ship. Um, so I was a day one. Uh, I was in there at launch. I th even with kind of the the issues that 1.0 had, I've always kind of been a No Man's Sky apologist um, mm -hmm. because I, I still liked being in that world um, even when it was crashing on me. And all the stuff they've added since then has just been like, uh, like the the goodwill that Hello Games has fostered with its community since the the objectively very messy launch of No Man's Sky has been mm -hmm. um, like I, I really admire them as a company. Um, mm -hmm. For now, four years down the road, uh, you just made me remember. Since I'm playing on Windows 10, I don't get my pre-order ship because it's on Steam. Oh. But, you know, I guess maybe I'm in the pre-order ship. Oh, I see your thing. Um, yeah, so my, my history is I bought the game at launch. I played it for maybe five, six hours. I pretty quickly hit, I mean, beyond the technical hurdles, I pretty quickly hit, like, design hurdles where it was just like, oh, there's a very small loop that is not very enjoyable in this game. And so I stopped playing. I, I came back probably around the same time Will did. Uh, I think it was when they added base building. And I played maybe two, three hours then. I went through the tutorial and I was like, nah, still not still not doing it. I love the aesthetic of this game, but I think the gameplay is just not refined enough. Um, Ian, question. Do you hear me twice? No. Okay, I hear you twice because I think your in-game is going. Oh, you know what? It shows you talking. I'm just going to turn that off. Yeah, I can hear you twice. I just want to make sure if it was in-game or not. Whoa, it just spawned me in a ship. All right, I think I'm joining you now. Okay, cool. I, just, I just disabled voice chat. Are you yep. Are you in a yellow boxy ship, Will? I, I have no idea what I'm in. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be. I should be in my usual ship. What's your usual ship? It's like a looks like a. Oh, wing I thing. see you. Yeah, you're on a planet. I'm I'm in the space station. Let's all meet up in I'm the in, space station. Yeah, I'm coming to you. I, I'm I'm flying. Okay. Um. So, 
we're definitely going to give this game... Oh, Will and I talked about this previously. Um, and Jake, I'm curious about your opinions on it. Well, I mean, you kind of already gave some of your opinions, but we can keep talking about it. Is, um, I... I have such disdain for for this developer and for Sean Murray in particular because of how mishandled that launch was and how there were just some flat out lies leading up to it. And they have done a lot of good things since then. And I, I'm kind of on the fence in terms of have they earned... Have they earned their redemption i think there's and i'm just there's wait, wait wait real quick All right, have they earned their redemption and i'm just holding a grudge or am i correct in still feeling ill will towards them that that's just kind of the the dichotomy i'm on um i'd say if if sean murray in the years since no man's sky release had not acknowledged it in any capacity that he had not made serious mi missteps as, um, you know, the, the public face of the company. I think that there would definitely be m more of an argument for, well, the guy's just, you know, a dirtbag. But he's, I think he personally, as well as Hello Games, has done a lot to kind of mend the the rifts that he mm -hmm. made. Um, in the community and and uh, like the way that they've contextualized it now is that um without any sort of pr guidance it was he was speaking things that he wanted to be in the game as fact and and not doing the due diligence of saying this is not 100 percent certain but this is what we want to have happen and so he was just like excitedly in interviews just saying all sorts of stuff yeah. That obviously, you know, there's that super long Reddit post that was like a week after the game came out that was a mile long of things that Sean Murray had said in interviews that were like, yes, this will be in the game, but then weren't. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they've, they've put in the legwork. Um, totally. But, I mean, to, to each their own. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. So that's kind of my, my goal with this sandbox is to to give the game a fair shake because we're basically going to be playing it. I think we have five episodes planned right now. It may, may go longer. It's about at least an hour per episode. So I'm putting a solid five plus the two hours I already put in for the tutorial. So I'm putting like seven plus hours into giving this game a fair shot. And I'm curious how that's going to shake out. Um, what about what about you guys? What are you guys hoping to gain from, from this uh, series, this season of uh, the Sandbox? I'm just... I'm hoping to gain, like, getting comfortable playing this game, if that makes sense. Like, I, I want to be able to, like, hop in and, quote-unquote, do my dailies, if that makes sense. Like, I want to understand the game enough to know what my mm -hmm. path forward is. Versus, yeah. like, right now, I'm still, like, going back to check my log and, like, seeing what things I should be doing. So Yeah. I want to get to that point. And what about you, Jake? Um... I mean, now I'm at the point where there's actually a lot in the game that I haven't done. Um, I've tried my best to keep up with the updates, but um, there's there's just a lot of the content that I'd like to explore. Um, I think as, as far as what I want from this is concerned. Um, Will, why are you so short? I'm a tiny emo! <laughs> Can you choose that somewhere? Yeah, on the anomaly. Oh, okay. I have. Oh, you can you can change it. There's a booth here that you can do that. Oh, I really? think it's up on. I think it's up on this balcony that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, I I I didn't find it until I did the anomaly. So I so I got to the tutorial. I got the hyperspace drive. I jumped, and that's all I've done so far. But because I figured yeah, that yeah. was good enough. That really uh, did Ian, take sorry, two hours. The other balcony. It really did. <laughs> it was. It was, look, it's a good tutorial. <laughs> yeah, but imagine doing that multiple times. Oh boy. As I have done. Um, okay, so let me change this. And then I, what I was thinking, you know, and I'm open to suggestions is something we got to figure out in this stream is what our end goal is. You know, are we getting to the center of the galaxy? Are we beating the game? Are we just messing around? Are we gonna have a nice base? So I figured what we could do in this stream is we go to one of these planets, we explore a little bit, we start building a base. 
um, and we just kind of chat about the game, and then at the end of the stream, we can talk about our our larger goals. How do you guys feel about that? That works for me. That sounds good. I just want to see what I want to look at the galactic map, see where we are. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna. Uh, it brought me to your place. Adjust my body hole real Even quick. Even though it's still telling me to go to this planet. Should we all be different types of aliens? Is somebody else in the, um... That helps. I'm gonna be nice about this game, but... I can't see my character creator because somebody else is standing in front of it. <laughs> and it just completely blocks my camera. <laughs> Oh that man, happened I'm to sorry. Me. That happened no, to me but it's that's not your fault. That's the game's fault. But you know what? Things happen. Oh wow, there's some crazy heads going on around here. Uh, yeah. So I, I I'm pretty sure I'm a geck. The short little guy. Excuse me. Oh, you know what? I need to be uh, red, green, and blue. Because I appreciate. Should I summon my freighter here? Do it. Do you have any of the small ships we can land on? The frigates. Uh, I don't think. so. How long did it take you to get that to get that freighter? Uh, not too long. So after you finish the anomaly stuff, you the tutorial I found on Reddit said differently, but I saw a group of freighters. And I was like, oh, I'll go investigate one. And so one of them has a distress signal, and you shoot the kill the pirates, and then the captain says, hey, if you want, you can own this. What? You can say yes or no. What? <laughs> That's so yeah. easy. There's, there's after that, if you find a new one that you want, you can like buy it, um, yeah. but they're crazy expensive, or but they I was, were. I was confused because the thing said like, this costs 7.5 million, and I just hit accept and it just did it. But I guess I missed the part where they were like, oh, we're just giving it to you. Um, anyways, I'm out here by my freighter when you how guys do, come out. How do I look, boys? Let's go. You look good, Ian. Where's your freighter? It's uh, outside. In orbit. In orbit. Oh, we have to go to it. Okay. You can land on it if you want. Let's do uh, that. Oh no, it's making me land on it. Stop! No one. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Wowzers, that's a honker. Thanks. So what does the freighter get you? <laughs> no, Will. <laughs> um, so you can, like, send it on, like, cargo runs. You can tell it to go do stuff. You can also build a base inside of it and, like, have it be your mobile base. So, like, you could stick it. So the thing they added is, like, you can have warp gates. So I can, from my base on the planet, I can warp a, a solar system back to my other base. Yeah. So you can put, like, a mobile... Pretty sure you can put a mobile teleporter on this and just warp to it wherever it is in the galaxy oh, or between galaxies oh i like that so we uh, should start talking about so so i jake you probably know the answer to this what what are some of the end game states in this in this game so i have never actually been to the galactic core in in you know four years of this game being out wow um, i know that that is like the end game quote unquote but then after that it it just drops you into a new galaxy where that was that was the loop at least in 1.0 where when you got to the center of the galaxy mm -hmm. you'd go to the outskirts of a new galaxy and repeat the process all over again there's more to do now in terms of like we could go um uh scavenge some derelict freighters out in deep space or we could go try to find um I guess some of the superstructures that they've added in this update have like um, high value content and stuff that mm -hmm. we could go track down. Um, but uh, beyond, I, I know how to get to the freighters. I don't know how necessarily to track down the superstructures because the update is, you know, whatever it is, three days older. Whatever. Okay, so I think I think what we should do because I'm just trying to think of what is the end goal of this season, and I think it's. Assuming it doesn't take that long, I think we make our way to the galactic core. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe for today's episode, 
Let's go explore some planets. How's that sound, y'all? Good. I'm into uh, it. If we do, just as a quick money-making scheme, uh, if we scan any of these planets and you see that they have, um, uh, I can't remember, if it's like old bones or something, there's, there's an archaeological element to some of these where you can dig up old dinosaur bones and they sell for a lot. Oh, okay. Alright, so I've scanned some planets. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, let's find one of these planets to, uh, to mess around in. Man, the planet I started on was radioactive. It was great. Same with mine. So it's a tropical planet. Man, the one I have a base on now is pretty great. I, uh, when I built my base for this tutorial, I landed on the planet, uh, at night, and it looked like it was just, you know, nice crystalline oceans. I built my base on the beach, and then the sun came up, and the ocean is blood red. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Is there... Is there, like, a solar map instead of a galactic map? Uh, it's in, kind of it's in it's in options. Wait, what? It, in the in the galactic map, can't you just zoom in? Uh, well, I, I do, but I can't. In the options menu under the discoveries tab, that's that's kind of the the solar map of the solar system. Oh, you're right. You're right. Petsy uh, sixteen discovered by Hunt two seventy. Oh, it. got it, got it. Options. Options what? Options discoveries is the tab that has all the planets and stuff in it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay, now I see it. I don't know, maybe we should go to a different solar system. Um, I don't know if I have warp. I can jump one system over with the amount of fuel I have right now. And with the upgrades I have right now. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we just pick a planet here. Um. Uh, yeah, let me fly. Let's fly over and scan each planet, right? Yeah, let's do that. Because then, I, if we upload the data, we can all see it, right? I don't. I don't know about. Maybe. It says Hunt 270 is flying towards an unmapped planet. Don't go, Will. I'm going. It's gonna take me a whole minute to get there. <laughs> That's freaking... I'm jumping behind you. New Velen, it's called. Ooh, it's tropical. Let's do this one. High okay. Sentinel activity? Maybe not. That just means that there'll be more Sentinels nearby. Um, High value resources. They're uh, not like just, or unless they've they've changed something dramatically since the last update. It's not like swarms of them anywhere. It's a paradise planet. planet. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I said this when I crashed. Um, can you handle chat? Yeah, I got okay. Zach said earlier, what about reading my chat about Ian hating open world space games? <laughs> he didn't actually do that. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You know what? I think I may be stuck. Well, not stuck. I, I've been flying towards you for... Uh-oh. There's enemies here. A while now. Let's see. Oh, did you make planet fall? Uh, yeah, I'm almost at the planet. I just stopped a little short. Uh oh. Hostile ships approaching. Oh, yeah, they're right in front of me. I can back you up in 10 seconds. Yep. Oh, they're coming at me hard. Oof! That guy buzzed me. Careful, it's in the middle of an asteroid field. <laughs> I finally turned off that stupid tether flying with the mouse. 
What do you mean tether flying? The it like has you pull that tether around and it like tethers towards it. it I, didn't, I wasn't really feeling it. I, I think the only thing I didn't like about it was that the left right is yaw. That's yeah. the only thing that kind of weirded me out. But I think I'm getting used to it. Jeez, they're really hitting me. Okay, I can't tell if I'm actually traveling towards you guys or not. <laughs> I'm are just you, gonna, um, gonna let it go for a while. <laughs> Are you pulse traveling? Yeah, I'm pulse traveling. You know what? Okay, the planet is slowly getting bigger now. How, what's the time on it? Two seconds. Oh, yeah. Well, Will and I just defeated these pirates, so. Yeah, so you should be safe. Okay, all right, I finally did. No, see, the problem was for like a minute, it was stuck on 30 seconds. So I'm now gotcha. finally here. Okay. Go down a little bit. All right. want to use pick a place, and I'll follow. I think Jake's ahead of us. Going straight down. Uh, you know what? I really want mechs. We can get those. We just have to, I guess, research the components to to get and yes, uh, like a mech launch platform for a base. Yes. Okay, Jake, I'm behind you. Okay, I'll try to find a. Ooh, so maybe oh, it looks like there's a building up here. So maybe we should find one of those super wealthy planets and put the base there. Yeah, so the, also the nice thing is, like, if we're back here at base doing stuff, one of us can go out, find one of those planets, put a warp gate on it, and we just warp over there and move on. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so let's... I, I honestly think let's just start and build here. I agree. Get established. Oh, I did not. Climate-wise, this seems like it might be a bit dangerous because I think this is probably a stormy planet. Warning, extreme weather. I'm okay with that. Let's just we'll build, build cool houses. You know what? I'm going to upgrade my... Uh... I'm going to upgrade three. my groupers. i got to go back to I have discovered distress signal coordinates. Okay. Is is oxygen always annoying to find? Well, it's easy. There's a lot of plants around for this one on this planet. Yeah. But the, yeah, yeah, it depends on the planet. I mean, that's really the case with any material. Got it. The other planets, I was just like. I do really like this this quick recharge. I think that's new since the last time I played. That is a um, great quality of life. In case you don't know, if you hit, uh, are you using keyboard, uh, Ian? Yes. If you hit Q then spacebar while running forward, it like propels you really fast. Oh, oh, you, oh my goodness! So. Did you look? There's an animation. Do you remember that was it was a bug at launch? It was a glitch. Yeah, yeah, but really yeah. Delicious. Now they've just—they're like so that's glad. a that's a feature. Because I, I remember all the Reddit posts being like, "Hey, you can move faster on these dumb planets." You do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was trying to remember what that was earlier. Will you look great? Do I? Yeah. Thanks. I'm recording all this on my end, so we have some source footage. Like 1080p of the new update. Okay. All right. So um, let's do. Um, okay. I have a refiner. Okay. And we should probably build a. Um, I'll build a storage box. We need That's a base the other computer. Thing. The annoying yes. thing, Jake, is the. I don't know if you know this, but the like power. You can't. Can you turn the power on and off? Because so I kept uh, loading my like generator with biofuel, and then I couldn't. It was just using it all. Yeah, I, I had that. I think there. that there is a, there's a, a oh, something you can unlock wait. later that does that. Like, because then you can get like solar panels and stuff that. Gotcha. Because I you don't even have to use biofuel. What's that? Is that a sentinel? That was a sentinel right there. It's wandering away. Okay, bye. Get out of here. And 
Okay, so who's building the base? Base pooter? Uh, I'll do it. Okay. I think I might actually have enough. I'm gonna build the... I'm gonna build it over here. By the save thing. Or by the landing pad. I will build the research unit. Construction research unit. Magnetized ferrite. Our visibility has decreased greatly. Oh, crack claims from this site. Claim site? Claim base. It's also 324.3 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. And there's just intense cloud cover over us. Wait. Are you guys not seeing it like sunny out? Oh, is we're in the middle of a big rainstorm. I gotta get inside. I thought weather was supposed to be synced. It is not synced on my side. Oh, really? oh yeah, we are in. Oh yeah, on stream there is no storm, but we are definitely in storm conditions. Yeah, I had to go inside because it was draining my thing too fast. Well, y'all have fun with that. <laughs> that's that's especially weird because you're the host. Yeah. I know, and Jake and, I and that's, su one. that's supposed to be synced, because that was one of the things they said that you will share with other players. Do what I need. Hey, uh, um, Jake, Jake, is there a way? Oh, pin recipe. Wait. Is that an L? Oh, cool. Your character told me you need that. There we go. Okay. That is cool. It's nice, too, because I can keep playing when we're not here and leveling up my character and getting blueprints and stuff. Yes. And then yeah, you can get back. Yeah, I think the base is only on the base is on my save. Well, so I think if you come to this planet in your own game, you'll you may see some version of this base. But you won't be able to build on it. If that Man, makes sense. Base screenshot is pretty good. It's just rain. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a better. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, Jake, I, I fully understood what you were talking about, how you like to be in this world. I love the aesthetic of this game. Yeah, it's it's right up my alley in terms of like the the kind of sci-fi that yeah. I enjoy. And it also does a good job of being like, you know, we're gonna have space travel, etc., but we're not gonna make it super realistic. So it, it does the right mix of arcade. Yeah. Arcade. And I think this game does exciting moments pretty well. Like, yes. I, we didn't catch it on stream, but like I came out of quote unquote warp was attacked by enemies and then Jake warped in and fought them with me in an asteroid field. That's kind of uh, okay. We need to make a storage container. Okay, yes. is Will is the storm over for you? No. Okay, I was gonna be like my kingdom for this storm to end on my version of the game. I keep uh, just walking outside because I can brave it for at least a little bit. Now I can get some sodium. Well, if you if you come into this um, the main building, you'll find me just just hanging. All right, I'm running over. Yeah, I was in one of the smaller buildings. So also, it seems like we can each access um, like consumables. Like someone dug to that thing and I can still open it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I dug so. to the, the to the buried technology module. <laughs> oh, you know you know what, Will? What? I think I need to build Can you deregister your base computer? Uh oh sure. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause right. 
Yeah, since it's on my save, I'd, I'd rather have the base computer be mine, so at least I can build in the off time. Yeah, storm's clearing. Thanks, Barry. Will, can you access that terminal after I accessed it? I could not. Okay. So I guess there's certain things. Okay. Goodbye, sub pixel galactic base 04321. One sec. Oh, there's a nice lake over there. Okay, we should be able to build a computer now. Thank you. Um, base computer. Claimed the base. What shall we call it? Um, whatever you want. I got it. I got it. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I'm just looking at it. I don't like it when Ian's got it. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, looking at deposits, activated copper. Welcome to Goofer's Paradise. It's a good one. Yeah, but what hemisphere are we in? Is it a Sutherland or a Northerland? I don't know that, man. I thought on. my name was bad. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm currently logged in. Oops. I'm logged in as a guest on your thing. Yeah. Uh oh, Sentinel Troop. Hello, Sentinel Drone. Okay, I have construction research unit online. Alright, well I found a little crow's nest, so I'm I'm just patrolling. I'm I'm keeping an eye on things. I just like dug this hole in the ground. <laughs> there was a buried technology module down there. I had you to gotta, get to it somehow. You gotta cover it up, Goober. Oh, we just got a trench in the middle. How do I I am here to take from the land. Yeah, not get back. Yeah, if you fill it in kind of gross, we can. Fl there's a flattened tool as well. Ooh, I got 500,000 units. Milestone. Boop. Will, where'd you go? I'm, uh, I'm over here. That does not answer the question. I'm right next to you, on the ground. Oh, that's a cool, this this tool has a f restore mode. I'm in the air now. That's good stuff. I'm shooting you. Whoa, what's that platform? Was that part of the base, or did you build that? Will, I don't see you. The thing I'm standing on? Oh, I see you now. Ian, the thing I'm up on? Yeah. I didn't build this. This was part of the camp. Okay. All right. So what is up next? Uh, we need the Maybe. teleporter. Somebody want to build the teleporter? Uh, yeah, let me see if I have enough for it. Um, oh, this build menu, I don't mind it, but it's not perfect. Yeah, I, I, I think they've done what they can. With a salvage capsule, what's that? Uh, okay, I need two carbon nanotubes. I need a bunch of sodium. Okay, just There's get all trees that up yourself. on the hill where we can get carbon. So... <laughs> um, is there a way to give stuff to each other? Other than like a sword? Yeah, you gotta stand next to each other and do this like transfer thing. What are you shooting? Ah! Ah! Oh no. We need out with the sentinel. Whoa! Oh, good, good teamwork, guys. Ooh, 
Uh, uh, reinforcements are arriving in seven seconds. Uh oh. Bring, Bring him. Bring him. Oh, hey guys. Ooh, I have a nice view of you guys just getting swarmed by these sentinel drugs. Maybe we should go to a different planet. Well, were you shooting at something you shouldn't be? Because they were fine I with was, me. I was cutting down a tree and they got me. I may have a lot of view. Uh, no, I was just joking. These ones aren't even shooting at me, they're just questions. Oh yeah, I just got another investigate prompt after I started mining a tree. It seems like that's going to be what we have to deal with on this planet. Yeah. I just got it too. I'm okay. You right. You right. Can't cut down trees. Oh, you know what one of our goals should be? What's that? What? We should try to get living ships. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, the, it's I think, like 3,000 Quicksilver, which I think you have to get from daily missions. Um, and then you have to buy an egg at the Anomaly. And then I don't know what to do with it. So we might, over the next ones, try to get Quicksilver from daily missions so that we can each buy one of those. I like that. So this we're going to treat it kind of like Minecraft, where we're going to have a list of goals, like get a mech, get a living ship, etc. And we just try to go through them. I like that. I didn't do anything wrong. Is there a way to get rid of the sentinels other than killing them? Yeah, you just gotta kill them and wait for them to deactivate. Okay. I'm just hiding inside for now. Well, you're gonna get the five stars if you're not careful. I'm at two stars. I'm at three. How, how do we de escalate? Uh, you don't. I honestly have no idea. You have to get the, I think if you get to five and then destroy them, that counts as a de escalation, but five, um, you start getting the walkers. Well, there's the a dog. Dog. He's taking off. Oh no, that was your ship. Where's my ship? I'm gonna go look oh, for. Oh, are we uh, getting in the air? Should I be getting in my ship? I yeah, think we get get rid of them. Yeah. All right, better weapons. We need to get better weapons. I'm gonna go to another planet to look for uh, some sodium. Well, Will, if you follow me, I've got a distress signal on this planet. If we want to explore that, or I guess Ian, because you're the one who's actually got like the yeah. Oh, I just got Sentinel ships coming after me now. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm following. Do you need help, Will? No, I should be fine. I'll come back down to you. I can't see anything in this rain. Oh, is it raining? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just flying How is dense in cloud How cover. Is, How is Jake and my weather in sync? Okay, well, well uh, Jake, if you if you tag the item you want to go look at, 
then it's shared with me and I can lead the way. Okay, there we go. Oh, I accidentally initiated my landing sequence. But you can see it? Uh, is it a house and you tagged it? Yeah, I can see it. It's a distress beacon. I'm gonna go up and pulse over to it. Oh yeah, it might make more sense to hit orbit and then pulse to it like Will's doing. Oh, come on. Hostiles scanned me right before the pulse. Yeah, this may be a bad planet. <laughs> you think? We're locked. We've been locked in combat for the last five minutes. All right, let's pick a new planet. There. Well, actually, let's land, pick up the stuff we can. Should be there. I gotta, I gotta blow these sentinel ships up first. Yeah, I think I have one on my tail. Yeah, I'm basically flying into that the scene in Aliens where they drop the um, you know uh, one way oh. ticket express elevator to hell going down. Yeah, it's that. Okay, I'm gonna go to Goofer's Paradise and pick up some stuff. Yeah, you can just pick up all the stuff we put down. Will, I'm going to come to you and try to help you out. Okay. Got one guy down. Actually, I might have two down. Oh, Will, did you, did you know you have with missiles? I did know I have missiles. But they overheat very quickly. Okay, got them all. Ooh. Ooh. Boy. That was no, 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 no. Pulse it, pulse, 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 pulse. Please. No. <laughs> I'm with you now. We can do okay. this. I'm close to death. System authority shipped. Oh, no. Okay. I could just summon the anomaly and we could just hide. <laughs> You know, I like that it's called Goofer's Paradise, and it's just filled with mistakes that we made. Yep. Come on, come on. Okay, I think I picked up everything. Three down, four down. There's a guy on you. Got him. There's one more. Got him. Okay, I'm right, we got we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Alright, I'm here. I'm just away. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Guys, I think I'm like what? Are you being attacked now? This is I, just escalating. I'm, at I'm five, inside of a ship. I'm, I'm at five stars. I'm inside of a ship. You're inside of a ship? What? It just warped in enemies and spawned me inside of a ship. Nice. Is this what five stars means? Is it a, a big sentinel looking ship? Because there's a specific, I think, ship I, for them that's I like don't a know. freighter size. I don't know. Thing. I'm inside of a ship. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They, they don't even have the decency to kill me. Can you guys come kill me, please? Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm in a loop of not being able to use my pulse drive. This stuff is pursuing me. This is going so well. Let it be known. I did say, oh look, I said, oh, 
To be fair, though, you were the one that sent them off. <laughs> they were fine with me. No, I, I just think it was the right place, wrong time. That's fair. Um, uh, yeah, Ian, I'm looking on stream. I don't know how that happened to you. I mean, uh, so if you come to my coordinates, you'll probably see a ship where I am, is my guess. Oh, something's killing me. Do it, do it, do it. No, no just take me out, please. I died. Whew, thank awesome. you. Oh, the big, big ship just came in. Oh, <laughs> now boy. I'm going to die. Let's fight him for a bit. I'll come join you. Uh, I'm oh, just desperately just, trying to warp to the space station. It is shooting all of the defensive turrets at me. Can I warp in the anomaly? Oh, I can. <gasps> yes. Oh, this is heaven. Come and help you out, buddy. No, I don't come. Don't come. Why I not? I warped in the anomaly and I'm just landing in it. Oh, Ooh, I'm safe. All right, so we got to find some planets. A planet. Well, I'm, I've taken refuge on your freighter. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I'm taking back off. I don't know if the Sentinels will destroy your freighter. <laughs> I hope not. I don't know. I don't even know why it's still here. Okay, I'm back out. Wow, that's a... Remember, if we're ever in that bind again, just summon the anomaly and go hide out. Uh, so I still haven't gotten to the anomaly. Should I go do this Stranger's Coordinates mission real quick? Do you know what I'm talking about, Will? Yeah, it's basically the anomaly is the tower from Destiny 2, and you can just summon it whenever you want. No, but I mean, the... do I do I need that, or could I just ignore that? Well, we'll need it. If we want to get living ships, that's the only place you can buy them. Yeah, okay. it... You'll need it eventually because you'll want to just do those missions and stuff to get good thing. Okay, so what I did was I did the warp drive and I warped to another planet. How much more do I have to get the anomaly? So you warp to another planet and then you'll have to... There's like coordinates that I got. In this yeah, other so system. you go to like... There's like a beacon you go to. Uh -huh. Do you do that yet? I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. How about yeah, you? Back. You guys find a planet. I'm gonna try and do these story missions real quick, cause like I don't I don't want to care about the story, but I want to do enough just to make sure I'm not blocking my stuff. Yeah, you should just get out of the tutorial. See, I thought I was, but I, I guess I'm not. Yeah. I don't know if going to a freighter helps with the Sentinels at all, cause I'm still just sitting on five stars. Okay. Um, Jake, I'm gonna I'll, I'll fly over to you and I'll summon. If I summon the anomaly, you can you'll see it, right? I think so. Okay, I'm coming over to you then. And then we can go find a planet. This game does do a good job with, like, the times between different speeds you're going. So be like, yes. it's going to take you one week, and then you accelerate, and it's like, oh, yeah, not actually. Playing Elite Dangerous, yeah, the, the which sense is... sense of scale is pretty cool. Yeah, and playing Elite Dangerous lately, which is a bit more sim, and that you actually have to manage that, and sometimes the times are a little bit too long. They're not terrible, but it's like... You actually have to manage your speed because you may overshoot stuff. This does a really good job of being like, we want to represent that, but not make it an actual quote-unquote system. So we'll just yeah. set it and be arcade. Well, I summoned the anomaly, but out of curiosity, I'm, I'm trying to let the big ship spawn. Copy. Yeah, I had a giant ship fly in and all of its guns started shooting at me. I'm going to come over to you to see if... Uh... If it shows the anomaly. Okay, so I'm searching for clues about Artemis. Oh, yep, it shows the anomaly. In my capital ship, just sitting here. Can you do fleet stuff off the ship, or you have to go to the command thing to do it? I believe you have to be in the command chamber. I don't know if there's an equivalent that you can build, like, on a base. But uh, I, I know that that sh that room in the in the capital ship is gotcha. the only place we can do that. Okay, I'm gonna land and go send this ship somewhere. What? It is kind of cool owning a capital ship. Even 
no strangers lands on it all day. Yeah. Yeah, but if somebody lands with an S-Class vessel, you can buy it from them. I uh, want to get a new ship. What's S-Class? Uh, S-Class are special, um, like, stat, not maxed out, but like really high stat ships that you can... Like, the, the, we, I think, are in... All, all our ships should be C-Class, and then it goes B, A, and then S. Okay. Because there's those, if you go into your your starship menu, you can see there's like damage potential, shield strength, hyperdrive range, maneuverability, uh, and all those will be like near maxed out if it's an S ship, S class ship. Um, William, what? This Artemis quest line. Yes. What am I supposed to do? What is it currently saying for you? Search I for mean, clues about Artemis on this and other worlds. So, do you have other logs that have anything to do with it? Because usually those, it like switches between those three the whole time. Oh, between the secondary missions? Uh, there should be like three log missions, the like primary missions. There's one, alone amidst the stars. Oh, that's the only one you have? Yeah, I Will, can't. are you on your freighter? Yes, I'm on my freighter. All right, um, so you guys find a planet. I'm going to keep doing the storyline, but once you guys find a planet, I'll come join you. Cop. multiple planets in this system that say high sentinel activity joy to the world um so maybe I mean, we could try a different system, but we'd have to get each other, uh... I'm heading to the ring planet because it doesn't say high sentinel activity, and it's got an attribute I haven't seen before that says super critical planet. I don't know what that is. Ooh! Uh, does that mean it explodes? I hope so. Or maybe it's because they added volcanoes in this update. I don't know if that's what that means. I want to find sandworms. Me too. You stay there. Cricket fuel. Okay. Please, for the love of God, let me debrief my commander. Thank you. Distance covered 976 light years. Oh, this is cool. So, like, I'm in doing the fleet commander thing, and I send him out on a mission, and it's giving me his log entries. So at 227 light years, he encountered a trader selling shares in a new deep space telescope business. Hey, I found the yeah, anomaly. Think... Sorry, no, Ian, what are you saying? I found the anomaly. Yay! Yeah, Will, No Man's Sky has added a lot of the same kind of stuff that you were talking about in your Dwarf Fortress video. It's got a ton of, like, that kind of, of procedurally generated lore now. I think I see other. Yep, you do. Other players. Yeah, the anomaly is the multiplayer hub. Yeah. Uh, is it any good? Unlike the tower. I mean, it's just all the vendors, and you can buy stuff and everything. I'm trying to think of multiplayer hub worlds that were actually. You know what? Call of Duty World War Two, if you remember that, will. 
Not a bad hop world. You remember yeah, that? Bad. That was pretty, and they had a shooting range. That was cool. And it was like, it was like, wasn't it like a beach landing, but like a week later? Yeah, it was oh. like, yeah. <gasps> I just remembered it also had, if you went down to the beach and you got in a tower, it lets you try out all of the kill streaks God, against that. enemies. That was actually, that's the best tough world I've seen. I'm trying to think, um, Division 1's was okay, 2's wasn't as good. Yeah, 2's, two's was just the White House, right? Um, um, I like Destiny 1's more than Destiny 2's, but that might just be rose-colored glasses, because I haven't played 1 in a very long time. I, I feel like 1 was a little bit, 2 feels a lot like 1. Yeah. And that's that's disappointing. Okay. I am leaving my freighter who is hopefully warping out of here. There was another There was another hub world I was thinking of. That was pretty good. Oh, you know what I really liked in Destiny 2 was the first hub that you come across on Earth. You remember that? The farm? Yeah, the farm. Uh, I, I like, like the farm a lot. I was like, this is great. They're going to have multiples of these instead of one of them, and maybe they'll make them slightly distinct from each other, not just in an environment, but also what you could get there. And I was like, great. And then they were just like, hey, guess what? You never need to come back here ever again. And it was just, why? Yeah. I do miss the farm. I think uh, hub worlds are difficult pretty difficult. Um, Farm had the soccer, and I remember, like, playing it with a couple randos for, like, five, ten minutes when I first found the farm. It was so good. I loved it. And the, oh, the, yeah, there's hot lava on the Destiny's 2 tower. Um, I'm trying to think, does, like, does, like, Stormwind count as a hub world? Not really, because you see people everywhere, and like, I feel like yeah. the hub world is only where you see players. I think it's got to be an, yeah, an instance social space. So, like, you know, does PlayStation Home count? Yeah. Me oh. Plaza. Me oh. Plaza. Um, oh, I ran the, out of fuel 20 minutes from day. The entirety it, of Meverse. They, I think No Man's Sky does a good thing with, with that, um, yeah. where there should just be asteroids nearby you that you can get. Yeah. Wow, I'm looking up at the sky, and these four other planets in the system are basically aligned with each other. That's it's crazy. I'm going to take a picture. This, this makes me appreciate uh, Outer Wilds a lot more, because I feel like there's definitely a lot to be said about procedural generation. But I feel like Outer Wilds took it in a different direction, where they said, no, we're going to handcraft all these worlds. Oh yeah, and yeah. I, I love that it was a like very specifically curated universe. Yeah, and I don't mean to say Outer one is better than the other, but it felt like Outer Wilds had the same idea of like we want these crazy planets, so we're gonna spend the time to handcraft them. There's not gonna be as many of them. They're all gonna be the same. You know, like I'm playing the same planet as you. But that's did just you watch the crazier. no clip doc? No, I don't watch no clip docs. I don't, I don't like no clip docs. No, I, I, I know, because I know we've talked about that, but I didn't I, know. I, I hate the narration. The interest of the game. I hate the narration yeah. so much. Well, there was an interesting bit that I thought, um, oh, like I wouldn't have known just from playing the game, but apparently it started essentially as like a tech demo for a student project and then became you know, yeah. what it was. In the doctor, they talk about how um, the studio one of the major studio founders slash funders is uh, the Japanese guy from the show Heroes. Yes, they talk about that, and then they don't talk about it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious how much like, he... Yeah, and then it was founded by such and such. Yeah, I was curious how I much he had I think he's essentially just the money. Gotcha. He's, he's the, he doesn't like work in the studio. Um, I, I think Masio, Masioka's just taking that hero's money and making cool stuff with it. Yeah. Um, th what? That's the game where the whole universe, isn't it? The whole thing spins around you. 
Yeah, so it's like on a twenty-minute loop. But the weird, the weird physics that they had to come up with was that you don't move through the universe. The universe oh, moves around you. That's what it is. I can't remember. Because it's apparently the only way they could do it without the game breaking. <laughs> My inventory is full. Oh um, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Because then you don't have to model. You don't have to have multiple bodies in motion. In relation yeah. to and each you don't other. have to worry about that weird stuff that happens when you get too far away from like zero zero or whatever it is where stuff starts to fragment and and yeah. glitch out how do we feel about this planet jake um i mean you know, it's not it things aren't trying to kill me but it's not like i don't know Well, let's just find somewhere to at least get a base started, you know? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm okay with this place. I mean, well, you know, I'm about to come out of here, so maybe maybe if we just go to another system. I've got I've got one warp cell. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any, but you guys can go. Oh, I don't have any, now that I think about it. Do you have a recipe for antimatter? Or money to buy a warp cell at a station? I'm just trying to like speed through this tutorial. Return to space. Units received. Oh, I'm so glad they added all these upgrade paths because that's I think that's what I'm gonna go down. I just plotted a route on the Well, I want to watch you take off. Where'd you go? I'm uh, right. We need chromatic. Oh, I have that. Yep. You know what? I did have a warp cell, but I'm not sure if it was. Oh, well, I'm getting updates from your freighter. Oh. I think because we're all in a group together. I got a thing that said your captain had arrived in a new system. Oops, I got out of it. Whee! Hostile ships approach. Oh no, I got hostile ships. I hit a plant really hard. Dense carbon. That I think you have to put carbon in a refiner. Yeah, uh, you can find it to mine. But yeah, generally. Planetary well, interference. Where are you trying to go, Will? I'm trying to follow you. You're flying. I'm going over to the flight class all about it. Sorry, there's this manufacturing facility over here I'm going to. I want to see if it's a good place we could just settle next to it. Can you tag it so I can get to it? Yeah. Coming to y'all. Oh, I'm just trying to initiate landing. Did you get the tag? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on your butt. Keep it PG-13, Jake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm on your bum. I'm on your ass. <laughs> there should be, uh, do you see the tag, Ian? There should be a tag for uh, this manufacturing facility. Uh, I think I'm too far away. I'm just traveling to you right now. Gotcha. You know what I did do on the stream, and it looks pretty good, is, uh, I talked about this previously, basically the background for the stream is a slightly zoomed in blurry version of the gameplay, and it seems to be running fine. So it's pretty cool. I'm not sure yeah, if I like it or not. Here. Oh, there's a okay, I'm 14 seconds away. 
Well, I tagged an ancient data structure about 200 paces from us. Ooh. Okay. Daddy's home. Daddy's got the hiccups. Yeah, carbon crystal. Are we... Are we... What are we doing here? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of navigation data over here, which will probably be useful to us. Uh, I figure we set up a base over in this kind of next valley area. That uh, works for you guys. Where the ships are? Uh, yeah, next okay. to this um, Got it. manufacturing thing. There were some sentinels. There's some sentinels there. Can't tell if they're just... I think maybe they're guarding the manufacturing base, so maybe we just move a little ways away and do it over by where Jake is now. Sorry, I just noticed that. But you can just walk over. There's five more bits of data here for you on the split between yourselves. Yeah, we just can't get inside the base, that's all. I think we'll be okay. All right. Daddy's plopping a base computer. Okay, so... Okay, the vase has been named Goofer's Second Chance. Yay, that's pretty funny. Hey, thanks, you know, I worked on it for a bit, but I, I think I, I think I got it. Very good. Thanks. Still not close enough to my ship. I feel like they reduced the ship range, which seems weird, but it definitely... I feel like it was further in 1.0. Yeah. It felt... But there's also been times when I'm playing and I just feel like it's... I mean, maybe they just reduced it so you get upgrades rather than having it... Okay, I've encountered the first of one of the new things from this update, which is pilots just randomly landing in the middle of nowhere. So I'm talking to an NPC that just landed over there. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I should kill him. All right, we need... Ooh, he sells tech upgrades that are X class, oh. which seems like maybe they've added like in some uh, RPGs you can like gamble for an item of unknown value and it might be good and it might be bad. They're called suspicious. It's like suspicious mining beam module, suspicious scanner module, which I'm thinking means you might get something good and you might get something bad. I like the way this guy operates. Oh, got yeah. it. It's red. Got it. Um, so much stuff. Oh, do you want to build that chest?
didn't have enough sodium now. Problem is we have to power the chest. We gotta power the um, teleporter as well, so be good to get power up. There's a biofuel reactor over here. And then, uh, if anyone has some gold, I can make a. Uh, I have pyrite? Does that become gold? I have no idea. Maybe Is if it you refine it, I'm not sure. Is there an easy way to like look at an item and see what it came from or what it refines into? I wish there was, and I don't think there is. That seems like one of the bigger oversights. Oh, pyrite just becomes. Yeah, I think in the like catalog thing, it vaguely tells you, but I don't know if it's specifically. Oh, what the heck? This storage container has all the stuff from my planet on it. Oh. It's like an ender chest. Oh, oh that's cool. I'm into that. Dami Moss, Daddy Likey. Have fun with all my cool stuff, guys. Hey, Jake, do you know that song that goes... Dami Moss Gasolina? You know, I can't say that I do. What is wrong with you? Okay, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna okay. put it. I have a warp cell. Put it here. Nice. Oh, let me send power to it. I was okay. really afraid when I first built this biofuel thing that you could only do two ports. Wait, is this the but... crate? Yeah. It's enormous. No. Yeah, I'm not that much stuff. I'm gonna fix the turn. Hey, I can fly to my base. And all of Jake's bases. You mean warp? Is it more yeah, than warp. one base? I assume I... you are what's good, homie. Me? Maybe not. Maybe this is other people's base. <laughs> no, I don't minute. think that's... I minute. only have one base, and I don't think I named it anything. As Whose personal. bases are these? These are not my base. Because we got my base, two Why of my aren't there bases, so many bases in here? Ian's, and then Sea Waffles, Click Click Boom. Is it because we're in a multiplayer server? This must be oh, everybody on the server. That's messed up. I don't want everybody on the server. That's interesting. But it is nice that... I wonder how far away my base is. Probably it's in a different galaxy. What uh, deposits are here? It's a copper. I think uranium and copper and a couple other things. I'm gonna find some gold. I think gold's only in space. You can look, um, because we've landed on this planet now, you can look in the discoveries tab to see if there's any gold on, on this planet. Uh, I don't think there is, though. I did not know that. Or if you look, if you open up your um, analysis visor, it's up on the on the right. It says available resources oh, on yeah. the planet. It's copper, uranium, and oh, magnetized yeah. ferrite. I was just looking around like a chump. Ha! I'm chump! Oh, I have a lot of radiation killing me right now. Alright, cool. So we've got Goofer's second chance up. I'm gonna upgrade my, my mining tool. Let's see, here we go. And all these animals. Technology installed. Um. Boom. 
Oh, I, for, for a brief period during no, no Man's Sky's first year, I was trying to make like a field guide where I was taking screenshots of animals and, and like making descriptions for them in a big like illustrator document. It didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I feel like that's a lot of effort. Oh, it was. And I was not good at, at using illustrator. <laughs> oh no, we're out of power. So you can still, tr you can transfer stuff to it, you just can't open it to look in it. But if you bring up your tab menu, it'll still let you transfer to it. To what? It's really weird. Dude. The storage thing. Sorry, I should have specified. Wait, so what's the limitation? The storage thing, you can't, if there's no power on it, you can't go up to it and look inside of it. But oh, you can still okay. transfer items to it through the tab menu. That's nice. That's nice. No, I, I need to go to the space station to purchase some stuff real quick. I do like the pin recipe stuff. That's that's nice. Yeah. Mm. Although it deserves to be said, and I will say it for I will say it for every game that has crafting but does not have it. The Factorio crafting system is the greatest. Oh, um, yeah. Jake, are you familiar with the Factorio crafting system? Only in watching you guys stream it. Yeah. So so the key thing is if... So, for example... So, for example, let's say I wanted to craft a, uh, a warp cell or whatever you call it. And I have all of the base ingredients, but I haven't crafted any of the middle ingredients, if that makes sense. Like, because it's like a two, two or three step process. So if... If I have all of the base ingredients, I can click craft warp cell and it will automatically craft the inter the intermediate ingredients and then the final ingredient as long as you have the base. Yes, that's very good. And I it like is that. incredible because then like you're late in the game and you're crafting all this crazy stuff and it's just like click on it. It's going to take a little bit longer and you can see the progress, but it's going to take it's going to make everything that you need to then go into it. And I love right, it. If if after you do your thing, my base, the Sulis outpost, um, is one that has uh, old bones on it if we wanted to go do some archaeological stuff before the end of the stream. Yeah, we can do that. Let me um, get some money. Oh, my goodness. You oh, know what? I just fell through the ground. I did, too. Hey, buddy. That's exciting. We're, I don't know. I can't see you, though. Oh, and I'm back. That was weird. Hey, welcome that back. That was weird. Oh, what now it says insufficient it? power. I just went to the... Oh, was it landing you in the space station, maybe? Well, but I've been here for a couple minutes. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, power is dead. And why is my, my spaceship's on now? <laughs> you left the engine on. <laughs> Whoops. It's, it's perpetually taken up. Okay, I'm going to go to the space station, too, and just use that teleporter. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, we can all teleport from there. Uh, another question. Okay, so I pinned a recipe. It came up, but then it disappeared. How do I get it to stay up the whole time? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Also, I'm wondering how does one get inside your ship? Yours. Uh, it's I now, would like. Yours is on, and it's not letting you in anymore. Yeah. Did you get in your ship? I did get in mine. Try going somewhere else and summoning it. And let's see if that breaks the loop. How do you summon your ship? Uh, I can tell you how to do it on a PS4 controller. Is it in that, like, menu thing? It's... I use the D-pad. I don't know. It's not in a menu. It brings up a menu like the build menu. Yeah, yeah. Is it in the, like, recharge equipment menu? Or is it a different menu? Summon vehicles. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm coming home. Goofers. Goofers first step. That's my first base. Goofers paradise. That's the bad one. Goofers second Yeah, and I think chance. you and I are going to blast by each other in light speed. Let's do it. Do you guys remember on launch when... It says think Gibson has left the system. <laughs> Because I made sure to choose the space station in the current system. Anyway, do you guys remember at launch when you would load in 
to the game for the first time and the stars were going and it, and it took like six or seven minutes like the very first time you launched the game and there were people getting stuck in that screen <laughs> every time i, I see every time i see one of these long load screens i'm just reminded of that and going okay please don't do it again oh also oh god oh my god guys i almost had a heart attack why okay you know the like the vision indicator that happens when you're near a sentinel yeah uh-huh so when i loaded into the base for about five seconds half of that was stuck in the upper left hand corner of my monitor and it looked exactly like my monitor was failing <laughs> oh and i was just good. like just like no no please don't <laughs> please no. i love this monitor don't do it oh that was terrifying I'm gonna go mine. Okay, so if I did it right, I now have a level two. Why does it still say my capital ship here? If they were on the, if they're on a survey, or did I send another ship? I don't know, man. I'm Your frigates are the only ships that go away on survey. Oh, my freighter doesn't go. Yeah, your freighter stays wherever oh, you tell it. So that other ship there was my frigate. I see. And you can get you can get up to like nine frigates. Yeah. If you no, now it makes them. sense. I was really confused because there was another ship there that let me land on it and it gave me resources and I was like, that's weird. That that all makes sense. Hey, I just uh, dropped out of um, pulse to like a derelict. Freighter, and I don't know if it's one of the ones we can land on. I'm trying to tag it. Like land on and take it? No, like salvage cargo from it. Oh. Well, maybe we should all meet up there. Yeah, if you tag it, Daddy come. Daddy will come get it. Hey, uh, quick question. Did you guys see the name of my ship? No. I did not. It's Puddle Humper. Nice. I thought that was... Puddle Jumper. I thought that was pretty good. Alright, I'm coming towards y'all. I don't know. This is not like one of the derelicts. Because those have, like, landing pads on them. I'm not actually sure what this is. It said there was an object of interest and I dropped out of warp and there's a big mess of freighter debris but it, it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can land and there's not a point for me to tag maybe it's like a failed combat encounter you know one that didn't spawn properly uh, that's it also won't let me fly to you oh are you doing the thing where like it shows you going but you're not actually getting any closer yeah no it's just it keeps redirecting me to goofers paradise part two it's for second chance, please. Oh, that ship just... Did you just warp, Jake? I did. It suddenly told me there was a subspace scan, and I decided to just get on out of there. Yeah, that, that ship warped with you. No, I'm in combat anyway. Oh, I'm, I'm coming to you. Oh, tomorrow's Sunday. Lord's Day. I gotta get up at 6 o'clock. Why? Uh, because George is the worst. Movie. Sounds about right. Yep. He's shooting a music video. and At first he needed my help in the afternoon on Sunday. Then it was, hey, can you come help at like 9.30? And I was like, sure. And then it turned into, hey, can I pick you up at 6.30 in the morning? Oh my goodness. The school Kyle and I went to, we weren't allowed to shoot anything on Sundays. Oof. God. Except porn. <laughs> That's so stupid. Well, I mean, if we had our own gear, nobody could stop us, but we couldn't we couldn't borrow any of the gear from the school on Sundays, and we couldn't use any of their facilities. I'm 
made it, boys. I just shot down a random ship. Uh, I think that was the guy I was helping to fight these combat freighters off. Oh, for. <laughs> so sorry. Did your hey, did look, your this giant? Huh? There's freighters here now. Yeah, the derelict spawned again. It looks like the heart of gold. At least the front. Though. What's the heart of gold? From uh... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh. It's that big round ship. Yeah, that's a good movie. It is a good movie. Yeah, maybe maybe this is just bait. That's what that I was thinking. You, you come out of warp and you see it, and then they uh, they go get you. I'm gonna fly through it all fancy. Man, it worked on us. Those guys must be real masters of their craft. Mm-hmm. Now they're dead. A sacrifice to the void. Yeah, scans yeah, they're masters of baiting. Anything. Really are. Wow. That's what we call low-hanging fruit. <laughs> what, balls? <laughs> yes. Oh, you know what, oh. we guys, we can talk about? We can talk about extra life. Extra life planning and preparation. It's full speed ahead, boys. That's true. Um, should we go to space station and then warp to dinosaur bones planet? I was gonna do that. Well, if we go through the portal to my base, then that's where that's yes. where the planet is. Okay, yes. I'm going to space station. I'm also going to space station. Yeah, extra life is gonna be fun this year. If you guys have any ideas, throw them in the chat. Um, we've been prepping some new tech behind the scenes. Uh, you know, Will and I, I, look, we've been patting ourselves on the back because we were, we kind of forgot what we did last year, so we've been checking the archive of the, the Extra Life stream, and also I had some screenshots saved for tweets and stuff. Last year's stream looked real good, y'all. It was really good. So we're, we're going to do the same thing this year, maybe even better. It's going to be real nice. Uh, yeah, so the mock-up I'm working on is pretty good. Yeah. It's it's crazy. You watch other streams like Giant Bomb, etc., and their stream quality is not great in terms of like production value. And ours is way ahead of that. So it's crazy that we pulled that off and we're gonna do it again this year. And we'll, we haven't been bought out yet by a big media conglomerate. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Or sold multiple times. Yeah, that's right, they've been be. sold twice. Yeah. I don't know, did they get... I don't know, does that count as sold if your entire... Well, yeah, I guess it... Does it count as sold? It's the definition of the word. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, if your entire company gets bought out... Well, then, yeah, I guess, yeah. It's, your, I guess it's your company owners that sold you. It still Chat, counts as sold. Hitch they us sold to off. big companies. Help us sell out. Yes. Uh, hey, let's play a game called What is Our Current Asking Price? $10. I was going to say 10000 Plus uh, benefit. Jake, where am I going to What's Good, homie? It should be, it should be like, Slowsless? I don't, I, it was just the name of the planet. Said uh, something outpost. Oh, you know what? It's not showing up in the group options. Yeah, I only have Ian's in the group one. Emmont Robe Outpost? Maybe if maybe if I go to it first. And yeah, then you upload go through. It. Oh yeah, it might not be uploaded. Yeah, because I don't see any of your bases in other bases. Alright, yeah, give me a second. They do not I block through it. I'm gonna go talk to these other goobers and see how much their spaceships are. Hey, buddy. 50,000? Yeah, I'll sell that. I found this geode that was like 150,000. It was great. Mind control device. Yeah, I can sell my salvage data for 672,000. Oh my god, his ship is 5.5 .5 million doll hairs. That's a lot of doll hairs. That is a lot. Oh, I have these ancient keys. I gotta, there's like a archaeologist thing that you can do on some planets. Well, I'm gonna look at what your ship is called. Starship. 
Yeah, great, great name there. I didn't name it. Why also, you... it says yours na his name is Starship as well, so. What? <laughs> Come on. But my name's Puddle Humper. I'm still teleporting. Oh. Ooh, I'm coming out of teleport. I'm back in. Like a rock. I do like, instead of hunting for those uh, pillars now, you can just talk to people and they teach you words. Mm -hmm. uh, you used to have to go to those pillars every time you wanted to know a word. Whoa, Will, did you see this guy's spaceship? All right, I turned my teleporter on. Does it show up now? Uh, let me check. This guy's spaceship looks like it's half flea, half international space station. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going Excuse over to the teleporter. Okay, I'm talking to this guy. Um, group. I do not see it. All right, one sec. Let me, let me make sure it's uploaded. There's is only 12 mil. Oh, well, that's not bad. I feel like I'm about four or five, I'm about two, three hours away from just min-maxing this game to get everything I want. Like looking up the strats and all that, you know? Oh yeah, I'm already there. You're a real robot boy there, Ian. Uh, Base uploading to servers. Base uploading to servers. Yeah, take a look for Suis Outpost. <laughs> um. Uh, no luck yet. Group. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Is it done uploading? I think so. How do I invite you here? Like a rock. Why? Wait, so this planet has a lot of bones on it? Yes. Yeah, for boning. Yeah, why isn't it called Boner's Delight? And, folks, that has been the stream tonight. Thank you for We're watching. really, you know, funny thing is, still PG-13. <laughs> because... Ratings have changed. Um, it's funny. I can see this list of other oh. bases changing. I can show off uh, while we're waiting. I, I can I, see the I goofer. I printed up, my, printed up my camera case. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Thanks. That came, came out pretty good. Well, it looks like you have like a... You have like an air filter cover from an engine. Yeah, that's where I got it. On your head. That's, yeah, that, I mean, you're not, you're not wrong. I'm just like a weird looking robot with like, what looks like a chef where, hat. Where's the, change what? myself here? It's the other balcony. Uh. Oh, other. I've never been in the Like a rock. Baby, you, you can see my bases, right, Ian? Actually, uh, I don't think I could. Okay, look for a base just called Jake. Okay, I'm looking, Jakey boy. How do you spell Jake? Uh, it's G E A C T H. You know what? That kind of works. Jake. <laughs> the T is silent. Jake. Soft G, silent T. Yeah, it's a, I wanted you guys to come because it's got like a lot of like bioluminescent plants and like grass that glows in weird patterns. And I thought we could do this. I thought we could too. We should be able to. I, we cannot. 
Looks like we can. That's weird. Okay, well... Maybe it's because I'm not the host. Can you guys... Yeah, I guess you guys can see mine. Yeah, maybe next time we'll we'll do yours. Anyways, I can all host next time. Yeah. Anyways, folks, um, that's going to do it for tonight's stream. I, I'm just trying to think of what's ahead. I think this is really just going to be a show-and-tell type of game where we're going to have... Maybe each episode we have a singular goal. And if it requires more effort, then we practice, then we do that effort between streams. So, for example, like the living ship is going to be one of our goals. So before that episode, we'll do all the pre-work necessary for it and then go do it and mess around with it. Same yeah, I was almost thinking back. like mm -hmm. the last episode would be us getting to the center. So we just stock up on any yeah. matter. Yeah. And then boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So um, that's going to do it for us this evening. Jake, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how are you feeling about this season of Sandbox so far? I like it. I, I'm I'm always good for an excuse to jump in back into No Man's Sky. Uh, William, same question, uh, different answer. Yeah. Please. Oh, I'm. Uh, I hate this game. It's the worst piece of crap I've ever played. No, no, that was my uh, line. <laughs> uh, 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 that's not what it says in the script on page four. Uh, no, I'm excited to play more of this. Uh, I haven't been this excited to play this game since before it came out. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and for me, I just, I still can't believe that $330 million for the development of Star Citizen, <laughs> and that's all they have to show for it. It's just a broken game. <laughs> uh, folks, yeah, I'm excited too. It's always weird starting these games because we're never really sure what the final objective is, if it's just going to be a show and tell, if it's going to be a goof around, or if the campaign objective is actually achievable within that season. And uh, I think we've kind of we've kind of settled on some good stuff here in No Man's Sky. I'm excited to dive into it more and and really explore what this game has to offer. Folks, that's going to do it for us tonight. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at ThinkGibson. Jake, where can people find you? I am at underscore Jake Terrio. And uh, William Yosef, it's Crispers. Where can people find you? I'm at Hunt270 on Twitter. And you can find the entirety of Subpixel's online internet presence at Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Subpixel Team. Also on Twitch at Subpixel Team. You're watching us right now. If you're not watching us right now, that means you're watching the YouTube archive on our YouTube channel, which you can go to by subpixel, subpixelfilms.com. We've got fantastic content, uh, all sorts of stuff, new videos, new edited videos every Monday, streams every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Our next stream, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, is No Man's Sky. I know it's a little bit of a, a double up, but we're gonna move to Tuesdays for Sandbox. Uh, it just works better that way. Um, so we'll see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, you know what? Stay safe. Keep your warp gates charged. Bye now, y'all. Bye.